Hello, my name is Alejandro Duarte and in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate JavaScript and Java. And for that we are going to use Vadin. So please go to Vadin.com and click this button if you want to follow the tutorial, create an app. Then select Project Base, which is um, a very simple uh, project that you can use to, to get started. Uh, you can configure any values here. I'm going to use the defaults, click download and you'll see a zip file that contains a Maven project that you can import into any ID. So I'm using IntelliJ IDEA here and you will see a bunch of things here that some of them we actually don't need. So for example, I don't need the Java class that is generated. I'm going to do everything from scratch. I don't need this directory or these ones here keep the front-end directory though and the icon the icon is fine this is the the icon that's shown here in the browser so let's keep that one license and readme I don't need them so uh, I'm going to remove them as well so uh, I don't want to have any distraction so that's uh, the reason I wanted to keep it uh, like that for a real application you will probably keep all those files and, and directories but anyway so you can see that we have nothing except an icon, that's fine. And uh, what we want to do is, uh, we want to have a, a, a script running on the, on the browser, in the browser, and it's uh, going to call a Java method that is in a class in the server side. But also the other way around, we want to uh, call JavaScript from the, from the server side uh, Java code. So we're going to start uh, with that first, okay? But let's create the, a very simple uh, JavaScript file, script.js, inside these, uh, this directory, right? Inside front end, web app front end. And for this, I'm going to create a very simple function. Uh, it's, not, it's not going to do much. Let's just uh, receive a name here. Let's call this uh, grid first. Let's receive a name and let's uh, just log that in the console, okay? Hey, and uh, let's use actually string uh, um, interpolation. So, hey, and a name, exclamation mark also. That's it, a very simple uh, JavaScript function. Remember, it should be inside this uh, directory. Now, let's create the, ja the, uh, the Java class, yeah. That is going to run on the server. So let's call this main view. Make sure you use that, that name for the class because uh, uh, it's going to be important when, when mapping the, the routes to access, access, this, access this, um, this component. And then we need to set a route for it we could manually specify, so for example, if I, said, if I said something like greeting, then this would be mapped to HTTP, well, localhost, 8080, if, and, and greeting, right? If we want this, then we can specify an empty string. And moreover, because we are using this name here, main view, this is automatically going to be mapped to this, right? So let's keep it like that. Also, we need to extend some kind of a UI component. So I'm going to extend a very simple one, a simple div. If you go inside this class, you'll see that this is uh, render. This is rendered as a as a div tag in the browser. So the main view is a div, right? And it's going to be rendered when I uh, request this URL. Now let's create a constructor here, and we inside this cons this constructor we want to. Uh, call this JavaScript function. So first of all, we need to load that script. Okay, this one, we need to load that, that JavaScript and there's an annotation for, for that. So JavaScript, and then I pass the location of that file. Now, in order to access this uh, uh, directory, I need to specify here, or I should, uh, front end, like a kind of a, a protocol, or it's kind of an artificial protocol inside the, uh, inside Biden, so it's going to be recognized like this directory, or if you do some kind of a code translation or something like that, then it's going to be mapped to the 
to the correct one depending on the browser. <clears throat> but anyway, let's not worry about that for now. And now the name of the file, so script.js. Of course, if I had, for example, inside this one I had, a, uh, I can show you actually, a directory called js, and then we moved this file there. Okay, so now it's inside front end js. Well, all I have to do is to specify js here, right? That's it. So the file is loaded, and now uh, now we can call this uh, this function. And the way to do it is by getting first getting the element. This is kind of more this is closer to the uh, client side. So from here you see uh, kind of low level stuff, right? Like uh, you see things that uh, uh, resemble the the DOM in the browser. So um, but we're not interested in those. We're interested in this one. Execute JavaScript, and you can you can pass the JavaScript as a as a function, so for as a string, sorry. So for example, grid, and uh, let's grid the, uh, yeah, the client. So we are calling this one because we have loaded the, the file here, right? Now we can clean this a little bit by specifying the, uh, the parameter like this, and then client. So that's easier. So if I need more parameters later, then I can do just this, something like that, and then specify the the parameters here, right? Anyway, so for now we only have this one, and that should be enough to see this greeting in the in the console in the browser. And this project uh, that we created at uh, button.com, it configures a bunch a bunch of things so all the dependencies and stuff but it also configures uh, jetty uh, the the, uh, the jetty maven plugin this allows us to to test the the web application without having to to install any um, servers here in my machine or or without having to to configure any servers in the in the ID just yes, all I have to do is to run maven jetty run that should be enough or I can do it also inside the idea right so it, it's equivalent but but just uh, just uh, 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 more convenient for running from the from the IDE because I can just click these buttons here well anyway so I don't have to install any plugins or anything just create a run configuration for that goal for the maven goal so the application has started and the server is listening to this uh, port into this in, uh, on this port 8080. So, and remember, because we put a uh, route here, it's going to be that one. So if I invoke that URL, we'll see, hopefully, the, um, yeah, the, um, the log. So, hey, client. So it seems to be working. Good. Now, uh, let's, do, uh, let's do it now the other way around. We want to call from JavaScript we want to call Java. We want to call a method here in this class. So first, let's let's create that method. Uh, I'm going to call the method exactly the same. Create doesn't matter. You can use any 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 name, of course. String name, and I'm going to use some without it. Print line just to keep it simple. But let's use uh, here string string that um, format though. So hey, and uh, some string. With a name so it is going to be here right so the method is ready now we need to expose this method to the client side and that's very easy to do as well so client callable that's it one annotation now it's going to be visible if we have kind of uh, uh, an object that represents this main view and it happens to be the element all right so we can pass it to to this function here as, a, as another uh, parameter there so so again I can create a new parameter here and pass the value it is uh, get element so now we have the two parameters the string and the element and I can receive that here so that was the element and the cool thing is that this, this uh, element has this uh, uh, server object here that contains uh, kind of the, the methods or we can use to, to call the methods so 
uh, we're going to call this greet. And now we can pass some some uh, name. This is the server, so let's greet the server. And I think that should be it. So let's restart the server. And if everything is okay, we should be able to see the, the greeting. This greeting here. Let's see. So this is still there, that works. And also, hey server. So yeah, it's working. So it's that simple uh, to, to integrate Java, JavaScript, and Java, at least calling methods between them and passing values. So very simple. Of course, you can do whatever you want with the with uh, with the DOM here. So for example, if I wanted to change the inner HTML, I would do something like this. Uh, it works, let's say. And um, we should see it there. Uh, and that's the that's how you can integrate basically uh, all the any JavaScript you want to uh, with uh, with J server side Java. Um, if you're curious about what else you can do with Vadin, uh, then I would suggest uh, you should go to vadin.com and you'll find tutorials here. If you want to see how, for example, how to create a uh, web application using only Java, so you don't have to use any JavaScript and you will get uh, uh, an application while well, there is no sc screenshot there. But anyway, I can actually show you. So for example, you can you can add, so let's forget about this for a moment. Uh, I just want to quickly show you what, what else you can do with, with Vadin, the, the most important thing you can do with Vadin. So you can create, for example, a text field here. This is a, uh, um, Java running on the server side, by the way. So name, and you can create a button. Um, greet. And then we can add this to this div by calling add, add name and greet. And we can add a click listener. This is the click event. And we can, for example, show a a notification or we can add another component to the web page for example new text there so hi and whatever is in this uh, text field so get value so all, all java right and uh, well these are the even we don't have many styles there so we can align these for example in a vertical layout instead of a simple div and if i run this application then i should see a bunch of uh, a bunch of, of components there. Let's see if it works. So yeah, it seems to be working. Text is being added to the web page. So that's what that's uh, what what you can do with 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 Vadin if you're curious. So uh, yes, um, go to uh, uh, Vadin.com. You will find a lot of uh, learning resources there. Um, I think that's uh, what I want to show you in this video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.